Hi, this is my uh, lab six from the TIRSLK uh, learning kit. The Hi, this is my lab six from the Texas Instrument um, robot system learning kit that I'm doing the review for for element 14. Now, this part of the, the labs, is, you're, you're dealing with the IR sensor, which is uh, after I have most of this uh, in, put together, I have the bump switches, but I don't have them plugged in yet. Uh, the IR sensor is on the bottom, so it's a IR sensor array that uh, has a whole bunch of wires and things that are connected. Uh, let's make sure they're all connected right. Okay, and then we'll put that back over, and then they come up over here on the launch pad uh, back here. Uh, they're all connected to port 7 on the launch pad. Uh, this is the MSP432. And then uh, we'll get this guy back up here. Just let him sit right there for now. Um, so we have that connected, and uh, also I have Code Composer Studio 8 that's up and running right here. And I already have uh, the Lab 6 GPIO main, and then uh, I already have it in debug mode. I've set uh, a watch for data, which is the data that comes back from the expression or from the re reflectance uh, read. Um, um, function and inside there I've coded it so uh, I can get everything to come back and uh, I get the value from these reads uh, on these particular uh, fr from the sensors so when a sensor is active when it sees black basically uh, then it should come back with a one uh, right now they're all showing zero so if I go ahead and run a loop it should all show zero and um, so we have all that. I've also set a breakpoint here. So I stop on the clock delay so I can run this uh, for each loop. I don't have a proper oscilloscope and I haven't set up the one inside uh, the Texas uh, code from uh, Dr. Valvano. So uh, that might be one thing I could do. But uh, this basically gives me an idea and it shows me the values that come up. I was having an issue with this if I tilt this all the way back so it's sitting on its roller. Okay, so maybe I've fixed that now. I think one of the connections wasn't right because I was having one of the sensors was going off even when it was sitting there like that. So, so to, to test this, if I run this tape across here on the bottom, it should hit one of the sensors. And right now I have two, so I should have all right there so there's the first sensor on the left um so it's kind of binary from say left to right right to left but this is the should be the leftmost sensor uh which is which is an eight and then if we got two of them it should be a c and as we move across so you got an e uh so all of them would be f and then if we're in the center it should be like a one eight. Don't know where that's coming from. There's something maybe my hand is causing some weirdness. So nope. Let me move this in another position. I'm not sure why it's kicking that way. It should show. All right. It's kind of weird. Let's get it. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, it's kind of acting weird. I noticed if I let it sit all the way down, I think it works a little bit better. So I don't know if it's the lighting or what's going on. Let's see if I get it in the center. There's one eight to the center. Um, then off to to the right, I guess. So we have a C. And if I go all the way over, I should finally get to the one. All right, about yonder. Yep. Yeah, okay. So we go back to the center. Yep. We got one eight. Yeah. See, I don't know. I gotta work on this because it seems kind of funky. So if I left this, this is where it should sit. It's back like this because it there's a little ball back here that's supposed to sit on. And it doesn't seem to read right, see? So I don't know if it's the, what I have here, it's the lighting or what's going on. So I'm going to have to work on that. 
maybe check out the timing on it. Maybe it's the, the clock timing that I have down here and stuff uh, is not right. But, you know, it works fine if it's closer. So I might have to play with that a bit. But uh, that's it for now. That's uh, that's the IR sensor. That's Lab 6. Um, so far, it's been pretty cool. It's been a bit of work to get this thing put together. So I'm certainly going to have some comments about that. Um, I am missing some screws. And I actually couldn't screw the IR sensor in there, so I'm holding that on by some wire. Um, so maybe that's the thing. Maybe I don't have it quite seated in there correctly. Um, but we'll have to see what happens with that. I have some screws on order. Um, other than that, um, that's what I have for now. And then on to the next labs.